Hi everybody, it's me Rachel Tim Miller and that's only four. And here I'm gonna show you my tips on how I save money and how I make my gift baskets and how I save money on on that. Because we all know making gift baskets is fun, but sometimes it can easily add up if you are starting to make gift baskets with couponing things that you coupon for for Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthdays, Christmas, and all that stuff. So, first, I'll start, I'll start off with this basket. Um, a lady at church around Easter gave me and my brother and sisters these, get bas these Easter baskets filled with little candies and a stuffed animal lamb. And I kept two or three of them. I got a couple of them, and I repurposed them for gift baskets. Now, when I've given gift baskets um, to my grandma and grandpa, when I've used these, um, they end up just giving me back the basket. So this was completely free from the lady at church, and, it's, and I just repurpose it every time. And then the... This part of a bow was from Dollar Tree or Walmart, so really, really inexpensive, either 97 cents or a dollar. So I just used that. Or I also use the medical tape that I get from my medical supplies due to my medical. I have a feeding tube and I use medical tape for that. That's like a dollar or something. I always sometimes reuse it if I can. Now the, the, this is the Easter basket paper stuff that we put over the baskets for Easter. Now I found these on clearance of like 24 cents and I stocked up. And then one thing I do every year for Easter when we, me and my siblings get our Easter baskets is that I save the Easter paper and I reuse it. I remove all the tape and I reuse it and I fold it up and I put it away in where I, in a special bin where I keep all my gift basket paper that I reuse. So that's kind of like a rundown of how I do it. And then if I don't have a basket, I, when I first started doing this, I went to Dollar Tree and I found those little container bins that were a dollar. I filled it up and my grandparents kept them and my family kept them. Now for the honestly any things for a gift basket. These are just a handful of things I have right here. Everything I bought right here I've gotten from CVS with the exception of the Tic Tac Gum candies. Um, I got that at Walmart. Everything I bought here was from CVS on sale with a coupon and with store coupons and I got in CVS rewards back so everything here I've either gotten for free or really really cheap from using couponing from CVS so I'm gonna put together this gift basket really quick off camera and show you how it looks. All right, here's the basket when I filled it back up. I'll rearrange it in a minute with my mom. I personally do not like using those worm things that everyone uses. It's just a waste and it will just get thrown out anyways and not reused. So I just do it like this with no extra paper or anything in it. It's just pointless and a waste. So in here I have the toothbrush. Pantene, toothpaste, the candy, mouth wash, and body wash. There's times where I add in more. There's times where I might add in, depending on who I'm doing this to, I'm going to be giving this today for my grandma. It's her birthday today, October 2nd, 2018. So by the time I upload this, my grandma would have gotten this. And years passed for Mother's Day and 
previous birthdays in the last two years or so, I've given her I've given her a whole bunch of makeup. But since from me giving her gift baskets throughout Mother's Day and her last birthday, she's really stocked on makeup. So I just gave her the basics here and some candy. So if you're making a baskets for Christmas or birthdays coming up in the fall and winter and for Christmas as well. It's a really good idea to just reuse these baskets and to find these um, Easter papers at Walmart or Target or wherever it is you live and get them on clearance and even reuse them when you kids get Easter baskets just Save the baskets if you like, and if they're like this or something, they don't say Happy Easter or anything on them, and that's good too. Um, fold up the paper once it's unfolded, un put to use, and it's this, and try to save it if you can. I do remove all the tape from it and just fold it up and fold it and tuck it away. And find rolls of it on after Easter clearance and tuck it away with your gift basket supplies. The bow I got from Walmart or Dollar Tree, we, we've had this forever, so we've been using it, repurposing it. The basket um, we received as from a lady from church, and I kept some of them, so this was a gift for me and my family, for me and my siblings. Well, if you see any of these gift ba if you see any of these baskets at wherever you live on clearance, um, grab some extra ones. Um, the tape, um, I don't have any right now, but um, hope this helped you guys in the gift baskets. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Bye.